it's Deborah from The Attic and today I have the latest kit from Tonic Studio. This kit is called Heart of Gold and you can see why. Starting with the papers, we have this beautiful selection of textured, glittered and pearlized papers and cardstock. And the 6x6 pad contains a selection of foiled craft cards and the foiling on these is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to have a little flip through so you can see. And some of these cards are on craft coloured stock and some are on black backed card, making a beautiful selection. The goodies that you receive in this kit are very generous. Let's start with the embossing powder, which is classic gold. If I turn these upside down, I hope you can see the colour a little bit more clearly on the underside. The Nouveau Crystal Drops are called bright gold. Then we move on to an embellishment mousse. This colour is black ash. You can see it shimmering away at the bottom of the pot there. And the glitter is called treasure chest. And that's gleaming away with all kinds of reds and golds in there. Finally, we have black diamond. And this is a very generous pot of glimmer paste. And this is lovely and creamy. And you can add this to cardstock to change the colour. And I'll show you that later. These kits are always really well put together and thought out. And you will need this tape runner. When I show you the dies later on, you'll understand why. It sits really nicely in your hand. It's been really well thought out, so it's, it's comfortable to use. And it also has something else that most tape runners don't have. It has a little protective flap at the front of the tape runner. So you can open it up and that will give you access to the, the adhesive on the inside. And it, you can close this and it means that when you put your adhesive tape runner away in a drawer, it won't get covered in bits of fluff and stuff like that. Now, this is how it looks when you apply it. But I want to show you that you can adhere things to it and that will form quite a strong bond. Or if you decide that actually you don't want your tape runner in that particular position and you want to remove the tape, you can simply rub it away with your fingertip. The stamps that come with the set have got a number of nice little sentiments as well as some hearts and some flowers. And you will have great fun with these dies. This is the first one. This is the shorter version. It has a heart in the centre and then coming off the heart attached to it are these other segments. Inside the segments are other detailed panels that you can use and there are some little flowers and a tag as well. And then in the second set of dies, these are deeper and you'll see why when we begin to make something using this kit. And again, inside those panels are separate dies, which can be used completely on their own or to add emphasis to the item that we're going to make. The first thing I want to show you is a way to lay out your cutting board in such a way that you can die cut as many shapes as possible at the same time out of a piece of cardstock. And I've got both pieces of my top and my lower box together on this single piece of card. And that's Buster interrupting just to remind me to tell you it's a good idea to use washi tape to secure the pieces. Here are two pieces that I've cut from one of the pieces of black cardstock in the kit. So this is the lid of a heart shaped box and this is the base. I'm going to start with the lid and it's a good idea to use a bone folder if you have one. I'm going to show you how the, the best way that I found to make these. The first thing is to fold over all of those tiny little tabs to make sure that you have a really good crease on them. That gives your box a much better shape and structure. It also makes it easier for you to glue the pieces into position when you get to that stage. Next, I'm going to fold all of the other creases. It doesn't matter which way you fold these as long as you give them some movement down each little seam. Now I'm going to tuck all of the tabs underneath. I'm going to use my bone folder to squash them down really flat so that I know I've got a really, really good crease on those. I'm going to use a piece of greaseproof paper underneath to protect my desk while I apply the glue. And I've opened out all of the tabs and I'm going to flip back that protective lid on my uh, applicator, which I'd forgotten about. And when I get to the heart, I'm just going to move the heart to one side and I'm going to continue gluing all the way down and I'm going to glue all of the flaps. Starting with the heart, I'm going to glue the tab underneath the heart on the left hand side and then working my ray around the curved bits, I'm going to adhere each of those little tabs underneath the heart and I've worked my way all the way around 
pressing and gluing each of the pieces in place. And this is why it's a good idea I found to do all of your gluing in advance before you start the assembly, because it leaves your hands free to concentrate on getting a really good shape. And then when you've glued all the pieces, working from the inside, you can just press down using your finger to make sure you get a really, really good bond. I've used a piece of the foiled card to cut two solid heart shapes. Now I'm going to use one of these on the inside of my lid. This gives it a really nice finish. And I'm going to use my tape applicator to add glue to the inside before I stick it in place. And that gives us a nice neat finish. I'm going to shape and stick the base of our box in exactly the same way that I did with the lid. form of our box is complete and now we can add all the decorations and this is the fun part. So I've used one of these sheets from the 6x6 paper pack and I've cut out a selection of panels and heart shapes using the die cuts. Using my piece of greaseproof paper again to protect my desk with the glue I'm going to glue up some of the panels and I'm going to stick these square panels on both sides at the front of my heart shape box. These panels incidentally would be beautiful if you cut out four of them and formed them into a square on the front of a card. You could just add a little message. So these dies go way beyond just being used on the front of these uh, lovely little heart boxes. I'm gluing up and attaching the last of the panels on my box. And if I do a quick twirl around, I think that looks really, really effective. It's beautiful. Finally, I want to add some glue to the reverse of a heart that I die cut earlier, and I'm going to glue this onto the lid of my box. Now I can assemble the whole thing, it's all finished, and I think that looks beautiful. You could add a little gold ribbon around the top of the lid, around that outside rim, to make it a bit more decorative, but that is made just using the materials in the kit. Here are two earlier boxes I made and here's what I learned. In this box I cut out a panel directly from the larger strip and then I added the background of black glitter card from the cardstock. This gave me two problems. One was it made it much more difficult to fold down and get a really good hard edge here. The other thing is it means that it's not quite as rigid and it also means you have got that extra card showing through on the inside of your box whereas on the most recent box I showed you how to make, there's none of that. So the inside of the box looks neater if you don't do it this way. It's much easier just to cut out the panels and glue them onto the outside. On this one, that's exactly what I did. I just put the panels on the outside and then I added to the lid a solid heart shape of black glitter card and then one of the filigree heart shapes cut from gold card stock. I completed the lid of this with a surrounding of little dots of the Nuvo crystal drops that came in the kit. And together, I think they make beautiful little trinket boxes. Let me show you a way that you can feel less guilty about using up the gorgeous sheet of black glitter. I used a spatula to add a layer of the glimmer paste to a piece of plain black card. And I actually used the reverse of one of the six by six pieces of cardstock that came in the kit. So I just used my plain spatula and I just smoothed the glimmer paste all over this piece of cardstock. And when it dried, it was exactly like the glitter card. Here's an idea for a card. I've taken the filigree heart shape and I've cut it three times from a piece of black cardstock from the kit. And I've cut it down a little bit at the sides before mounting it onto another piece of cardstock from the 6x6 pad. And I'm using my tape runner, which has proved to be so useful in these projects just to cover over the card before gluing it down onto the base. And I think that makes a really flexible card because it could be suitable for all kinds of occasions. I decided to add a final detail by using one of the filigree hearts cut from the slightly buff, shiny black cardstock. And then I glued it over the top of the center heart. 
It's just another way to make sure they get the maximum use out of those dies. There's a really pretty tag included in the die set and I wanted to show you a way that you could use that. I've cut the front from some gold card and the back piece from black shiny cardstock. By using the tape adhesive, I can glue this onto the back piece. You can use this on any of the boxes that we've made. All of the colours coordinate beautifully and you could add a little sentiment onto that. You could also take a piece of ribbon and you could tie it around the middle of the card that we made. The last thing that I want to show you is my ugly experimentation. This is always a good idea to do uh, 3D projects. Try this first, always give it a go because you don't mind wasting scrap paper, but you don't want to waste the beautiful card that comes in the kit. So these are some of my experiments, pushing the mousse through one of the filigree heart shapes, using it like a stencil, seeing if the hearts will fit on the inside to make the box look nice and tidy on the inside. But that's my ugly experimentation and uh, I thought I would share it with you. For now, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching and I'm going to leave you with some close-ups of everything that we've made today, along with a little music. And until we meet again, take care.